हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल नितेश तिवारी टेक्निकल हब इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज आई एम डिस्कस अबाउट द डिज़ाइन एंड कंट्रोल ऑफ बक कन्वर्टर यूजिंग मैथलेव एंड सिमुलिंग नंबर ऑफ व्यूअर आर गोइंग टू यूट्यूब चैनल्स एंड दे डोंट फाउंड हाउ टू डिज़ाइन द बक कन्वर्टर इन मैथलेव एंड इन सिमुलिंग इन विथ स्पेसिफिक a value of inductor capacitor resistor and how to what what is the controller how to design the controller and all so i am here for you to design such kind of converters and uh, all other electrical products so first of all in this uh, video series i am discuss about the basics of buck converters which is very important for your designing pro uh, problem your analysis uh, point of view so in the second one i am discuss about the open loop buck converter that is uncontrolled buck converter then closed loop buck converter without using any control technique then closed loop buck converter using pi controller then closed loop buck converter using fuzzy logic controller then i am going to compare all the controller and i try to find that which controller is best for a specific application and after that we have to discuss about the designing of buck converter using a uh, neural network controller and smc controller that is uh, sliding mode controller also so in the first video lecture uh, first of all i am trying to discuss about the basic of buck converter and i am not uh, trying to go on the basic um, basic theory because i think you people will will uh, will known about this point and uh, you know what is the buck converter but, but okay we just i just want to say that the buck converter means a converter which decrease the voltage level especially dc voltage level it means if you apply a voltage in a, uh, input side then the output voltage will be some reduced value on compared to the uh, input value this is the basic uh, circuit diagram of buck converter what did, what is so in your uh, this uh, ppt so first of all you have to see there are two kind of switches are used first one is the controlled switch that is mosfet we are i am using and second one is the uncontrolled switch switch which is diode so due, uh, due to this switches the this buck converter is working on two mode so first mode uh, first mode of working when their mos this mosfet is on so when this mosfet is on this diode will going to be off and your current is flow uh, in this manner and your inductor will going to be charged and in the second half cycle when your mosfet will going to be off your diode will going to be on then this inductor will uh, reduce their energy throughout your resistor or load and the uh, process is going on so uh, in the last you found a reduced voltage level in the output side it means uh, v not value is always less than the v in value in the case of buck converter so you know earlier that buck converter is nothing but the dc uh, step down transformer we call dc step down transformer also so in the matlab uh, uh, designing first of all in uh, specific in this video lecture i am discuss about the voltage open loop buck converter that is uncontrolled buck converters so this is your matlab interface when you open the matlab interface then you found such kind of window and here you just go on this simulink uh, uh, uh point and you, when you press this button then you found this window and go to then you have to go on this blank model once you go on that this blank model i mean when you click this blank model you got some this blank uh, value uh, this blank seats then you have to go this simulink library this one is so we just go on simulink library and we have a number of library number of element is available here that what going uh, what is the uh, continuous block what is the dashboard what is the discontinuity what is the discrete block and all different block we have uh, which is you we can use for for our designing purpose so we can select the our elements from here and we just uh, take it in our uh, new window what we have we, we are going to open second method uh, if you are using higher matlab version then you just double click here you just try a uh, type here suppose we type rlc so we can found the rlc uh, uh, value that sent rlc series rlc so number all the element you just try a uh, type here and you find all the element whatever you want and once you found this or uh, these element then you can uh, try to design this element world uh, just like what i am discussed uh, with the ppt and finally you can uh, 
make such kind of converter this is the box converter using matlab and simulink what i'm trying to discuss with you so if i'm trying to explain you then this was the dc so you directly go and type dc voltage source so you can found this element when you go uh, the type mosfet then you found this this is your diode this is your series rlc branch why it is right series rlc branch because when you are going to be in the simulink library then it is come with, with series rlc branch when you do uh, do a double click on that then uh, you found that uh, here here you just select r l c r l you have found number of combination here then you have a capacitor why i am connecting the resistor value with uh, parallel with capacitor because i am trying to take a uh, practical capacitor i think you people will uh, well known what what is the practical capacitor then we have a load and uh, this is a load what we have to connect with the buck converter after that if you want to calculate what is the voltage in output side then we want a voltage measurement you just type voltage measurement and you found the value after that you want a scope from where you want to uh, see what is the graph occur and exact value if you want to analyze then you have to connect uh, this devices so what is, this is the interface of power gui what you have to connect if you are using some physical model so you know real that this one uh, this mosfet is the controlled switch and this uh, diode is the uncontrolled switch so if this is the control switch then this uh, switch will control with the help of this gate signal so if you apply this gate signal and depending on that it will be going to be controlled so for triggering this mosfet i am using the simple pwm generator you go on this library and type pwm generator second level and you found this block and you just put it this is the mux block you just go and uh, you just found this this is the mux block so uh, this uh, i'm just trying to uh, uh, show you what is the value so input uh, dc voltage is, is what what is input dc voltage i taken this 100 volt okay what is the inductor value whatever what i am taking is 0 0.001 henry then what is the resistance and capacitive value is so 10 ohm and 10 e minus 3 faraday okay what is the load what what whatever you load what you have to connect then when you are going with this pwm generator then you just double click it and you uh, you have to uh, mention this frequency what is the frequency you want to uh, obtain you can use 50, uh, 5 uh, 5k 10k 15k 20k and all so this is the three phase bridge uh, converter and once you uh, design this all block you have to go on this run and your uh, model will start going to be running runs so first of all what it will do uh, as you see it will compile the this overall model and it will try to see that it will all thing is going to be okay or not so first of all uh, first it will be compiled it will going to the run position so as you see in this video that it is compiling and we are waiting uh, until it will be compiled and run so uh, until it will be compiled i want to discuss this thing two two or three main things that this is the time this is the time limit it will be so that what what it will going to be uh, what is the time limit uh, how much time we want to we want to run our this model this is the run block this is the stop block of our and uh, it's take take some time i think system is going to be slow but okay uh, once once it will be compiled you just uh, see there it will start running this model compiling means it will say that there is no any uh, error is uh, it will be confirmed and then it will it will start running the model so this is will this this will start running and well it will be 100 percent then it the model will run perfectly so this model is run perfectly and uh, you see that we just go on this uh, scope and try to see so first of all what we have we just uh, know that we apply 100 volt dc supply and we got 71.31 voltage it means we got some voltage dip and this is the main purpose of your buck converter and when you go to this scope block then what you have to find when you go to this so this is will this this will start running and well it will be 100 percent and it the model will run perfectly so this model is run perfectly and uh, you see that we just go on this uh, scope and try to see so first of all what we have we just uh, know that we apply 100 volt dc supply and we got 71.31 voltage it means we got some voltage dip and this is the main purpose of your buck converter and when you go to this scope block then what you have to find when you go to this scope block then when you go to the uh, this scope block then uh, you just do double click on this scope scope uh, block and this scope will going to be open 
uh, wait some minutes for opening so this scope block Okay, so your scope block is open and we just uh, try to analyze what is the voltage shape uh, we have found and uh, we just scaled it. So you just see that with zero is, is a start from here and it will increase up to some uh, time and after that it will going to reduce and after some time it will going to on a steady state condition. So this uh, graph will you can change this graph. You just take right click on your uh, screen, I mean uh, mouse, and you go on a style. When you are, you go on your style blo I mean, column, then a separate window will going to be open. And here you just uh, change the color. You 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 you, you try you change the width. Uh, I mean length line width you can change. You can change the display. You can change the color of axis, uh, plot type. All the thing you have to change. And once you change, you just uh, change the configuration property also. So click on the uh, right, take right click, click and uh, then you found this uh, configuration property. Here while limit is something minus 9 point something, we just take a zero. So our uh, graph will start from the beginning. So once it is start from the beginning, so one is, uh, is it's a start from the beginning and uh, we just apply see that okay this is the reduce the voltage we got to something 73 point something volt but okay we what what the problem is there the main problem is that that the, we got a higher voltage um, suppose we use this uh, converter with the application of uh, uh, 73 volt approximately so first of all the higher voltages will be found in the starting and second is the voltage is fluctuating in nature so we want a smooth light we don't want the fluctuation to so to remove this fluctuation we need to use some controller so uh, in the, in the next video we have to discuss about what is how we use controllers and how the how the controller will control this voltage level so thank you everyone uh, thank